Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Yeah. Today we are being real and candid. And for my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing and thank you for joining the farm, the family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Me being me, as you know, I had planned to do those weird fun challenges. Mostly weird, but we're going to talk, we're going to, you know, uh, heart to heart kind of things. By the way, I don't know how this video looks or rather we look <laughs> final product because there is no sun. I don't know if I'm darker than usual. Hey, bear with me. Bear with me, people. I don't even know what I'm going to name this particular video, but we are going to go with the theme of the challenges if you have not noticed my channel as per now is challenges and yeah let's make it a challenge and without further ado let's get into the video there's this certain behavior i've noticed with as human beings yes you and i so for example let me give an example on saturday i went to a seminar and in this seminar or conference there was a really famous preacher she's called something a day boy she's from nigeria so in her story she told us that she reads six books a day get that she reads six books a day so obviously myself included i was like no mm -mm. How do you read six books a day? I myself am having a problem reading one book a month. You see, I put my own limitations on her. I was like, I couldn't fathom how someone can read six books a day with all other things going on around. So obviously I was like, I dismissed and I was like, no, there's no way she's lying. Mm -mm. No way she can read that six books a day but i caught myself thinking that you know let me give you another example uh in our church there was so the pastor called a couple to come in front to pray for them so apparently this couple was going around the world uh in motor in motorbikes and this trip is going to take them like three years and they have been planning it for two years can you imagine that two good years they're going to go around the world uh in motorbikes for three good years so you see me and some other guys were talking and we were like no okay gotcha personally i was like oh this is so cool but now the other guys were like um and how did they get the money how can they afford this trip you know how the negativity it just came flooding in how did they get the money how can they do this why would they do that you see already these people have imposed their limited beliefs of if it was them they can't afford this trip too where is the time to do this how how is this even possible so within the past like two weeks there have been incidences happening that catch my attention that other people limit on other people another example let me tell you so there apparently there's this um there's this girl she's like 28 and she has finished her phd not undergraduate not masters my friends phd at 28 in kenya these public universities of ours <sighs> you see now this was posted in a certain group and then some people were like i why will she want to do a phd um at a tender age of 28 and apparently apparently woo, apparently she's the youngest like scholar in that department phd in kenya so people were like 
will she even get a job like undergraduates are not getting a job um master students are not getting a job will she even get a job secondly um people were saying in the group like what was say okay in actual sense they were using their limiting beliefs to in a sense like belittle her achievement like it's not the best idea to have done uh to have gone so far in her education so young even without experience but you see we are assuming like the the people who are assuming i hope you're getting what i'm saying like let's stop this uh -uh. to watch like that's when i realized we as human beings tend to is it impose our limits on others such that um if someone does something so extraordinary we are like mm -mm. we either give a reason as to why maybe it was easy for them to do that thing or we simply give an excuse as to why we cannot achieve that or we simply downplay their achievement like why do we do this why do we do this like why can't we just be happy for that person and then take it as a challenge take it as a challenge on our own part if she read six books a day i mean strive for seven strive for ten like do something also extraordinary that people will be like hmm that is extraordinary she is extra but let's not if you catch yourself thinking something negative when someone has accomplished something really big then you know what check yourself check yourself i decided to talk about this today because i was like this is happening a lot like all those were three different occasions in like less than a span of one month and i was like we have a problem as human beings we have a problem so the challenge of today is that if you catch yourself thinking negatively about someone else's extraordinary achievement pause and be like why why am i doing this why am i thinking negative is it because you're jealous is it because um you don't think that yourself you can do it or yeah just just take time and think about it so before I leave, because well, the sun is no more. Like bear with me until we get. We can afford lighting, my friends, my people. Yeah. So anyway, today's takeaway one: be positive for other people's extraordinary achievements. Number two: be happy for them. And number three: challenge yourself to go above and beyond and do something really, really extraordinary that people are going to be like wow yeah she did that's really extraordinary what she did or he or he guys yeah <laughs> but anyway bye next week i'm going to come with a really really fun challenge hopefully if the sun cooperates i don't even know if you're seeing me right now but bye remember to do good to stay true and to have a lovely day do subscribe guys i find like a hundred and something people are watching my videos and then i have like two subscribers i guys subscribe it's just a button and then you push that bell next to it to get notified whenever i post ha <sighs> bye this lighting better i'm not even sure wonder how it looks uh -uh. oh my hair and that look at this bottle yeah. you're not in the shot let's assume the house is really tidy